Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl, Be The Adventurer, and today we are in the north of Minnesota. Dun, 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 dun. We're hanging out in Duluth, Minnesota this weekend. Um, my husband brought me to a, a reggae concert. I think it's Bayfront Reggae and World Music Festival. Don't worry, I'll drop the link in the below. The link below. So we're here for the weekend, just chilling, and y'all, this Airbnb is so nice. So we're about to head to the concert. And then I'll give y'all a tour later. So stay tuned, guys. All right, y'all. So Vince and I were driving, and we like, why is everybody sitting at the end of their driveways? Like, what's going on this weekend? Like, we know it's a reggae concert, but you can't hear the music from the house. So we just drive it and shoot past the airplane. I was like, oh, okay. And Vince was like, you see the blue angels? I was like, the bird. But it was the there's an air show in town. So now it makes sense of why everybody yeah, yeah. is. Oh, shoot. See? I hope y'all seen that. Hold on one second. You motherfuckers are flying. <laughs> I'm missing my time. Anyway, so y'all seeing them? Yeah, so they just zipping around town. So who needs tickets to the air show where you can just sit at your house at the end of the driveway? Um, but this and I have already been to an air show. Make sure you check that vlog. I'll link it somewhere up here. So we're going to continue on our journey. And we're going to head to the reggae concert because that's where the vibes are at for the weekend. And yeah, I thought that was cool though. And they just whipping around. And I don't know if you've ever been to an air show, but the sound that the, it's a jet sound that the jet makes when it's swooping through the uh, clouds and all that stuff is pretty cool. So add an air show to your book list because you know what? Why not? Take the kids, take your grandma. Well, no, not take grandma. It's a little loud. Take um, the grandma. Take grandma? Yeah. All right. Take grandma. Take grandma. Take uncle. Take the nieces and nephews. Yeah, they, they, they come. They come. Yeah, they come. Let me see if y'all can see. I don't know if you can see. Right but anyways, right here, take right here, everybody. Right here, right here. All right. Let me go. See, here's the people. Everybody just standing outside watching. Who needs tickets? Well, you could just pull on the side of the road. Oh, yeah, look at these people. Everybody just sitting there. They're just chilling. Y'all, this is about to crash these damn cars trying to find these. Look at these look at planes. That. Babe, I see them. We need to pay attention to the directions. <laughs> We've seen this at the air show. Look at Walmart. <laughs> this show is here. We're going to miss the concert, y'all. We're going to miss the concert. day the sky is clear because we was a little worried you know that Canada smoke but it's nice and people got their RVs out here I wonder if they'll let me take a tour think they let me take a tour of their RV <laughs> I'm obsessed with RVs y'all anyways so it's so nice even my skin is going a little bit but 
Um, yeah, so we about to go ahead. The music is pumping. And let's see what Duluth have to offer for this reggae. This he got the chairs. Yep. Come on. All right, y'all. Yeah. See y'all when we get in. to buy the tickets which is cash which is interesting because how people don't have no cashless system yet but anywho i digress we almost there guys we almost there but the music is pumping y'all hear it it's pumping no re-entry Sound, this is the sound board manager. The sound man is the same like 15 years ago. Let's find some somewhere to eat sake. Somewhere to sit sake. Right, this is what we wait 20 minutes for. Roses, jerk chicken, rice, and fritters. Oh, okay. And the rum cake. Yeah. And then I got my chicken wings and jollof rice, y'all, and plantains. So let's see which one is better. Cause we got to find like Airbnb. It's dark. We live about 20 minutes away. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the concert, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Pause. I got one little thing. It's very short. <laughs> oh, the wind just blew. I had it in place this morning, but it blew away. Anyways. Good morning guys. As you can tell by the intro, we're in Coles because it's a little nippy outside and um, Vincent needs a little 
pullover jacket so that's what we're shopping for and then we're just gonna kind of rendezvous in the Duluth and go on the North Shore Trail or something like that so stay tuned I'm gonna get the smoked, what is it called? Toasted salmon or something like that. Mm -hmm. This one right here. Um, okay, you fried it. Yeah, I, mean, I know I'm always cold, so don't mind that it's sunny and I got a jacket on. Don't judge me, okay? I thought this was a judgment free zone. Anyways, let me order my food and we'll catch y'all in a bit. Alright y'all, so I got the box lunch version. I got the salmon milk, my chips, and my cookie. Vincent got salmon on a bagel. So let's mm -hmm. see how it tastes. Oh, and Can't miss that. the Pel Pellegrino, mm -hmm. whatever it's called. Alright y'all, let's see how it tastes. Alright y'all, this sounds just real good. Vincent, how's your first bite? Good. Okay, yeah. Alright y'all, this is a place to, to visit. Let me finish eating. Bye. All right, guys. So we've had our lunch. It was so good. Um, so if you're in Duluth, you can come. I th I'm guessing this is like the downtown um, area. And there's also Canal Park shops and places to eat and uh, little activities to do. They have like some advent adventure park thing for the kids. So it's a cool place to come to. But now we're going to find... We're going to look for a lighthouse. I've never been to one, so it'd be kind of cool. It's a real romantic while you're in Duluth. You can take your lady on a horse carriage ride. This is said these horses have been here since the 2000s. Yeah. <laughs> been around. That's funny. Yeah, All right, y'all got a nice little place to eat. Here's a nice lift bridge for. Um... You can, we'll try to go over there. Oh, we're going to walk to the bridge? Okay. Yeah. Stay tuned, guys. Y'all, this went in no jokes. This win. But we made it to the lighthouse. Bring the ships in. Oh, we got a boat coming in. Yeah, it looks like this boat. Uh, <laughs> don't look like this boat. Oh, is that a boat? That's slowing down. Oh, oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's a nice day. The weather don't know what it want to do. Y'all see this cloud? It want to rain. It want to be sunny. It want to be windy. And just like that, the rain is just we lost it. Cause I ain't got no hoodie on this little jacket I just bought. I ain't even think about that. People coming in. This is for grape jelly. Look, look at these big old fishing boats. He already said he would be out on the lake. He didn't even realize how big this lake was, baby. He need a boat, a real boat, not that boat that you got. So, anyway, the wind is blowing. Y'all probably can't hear me, so. We'll see y'all on the next stop. All right, y'all. So the boats here, they stopped because they need to get through. So they're waiting on this bridge to lift up. Now, this is a different type of drawbridge that I'm not, that I haven't seen before. It just goes up and come down. The ones that I've seen kind of like open up. So let's see how long it's going to take them to get through. Because this one right here is ready to go. All 
right now, so after about 10 minutes, they just now starting to ring the bell to let these people through. Nah, it's been like 15 minutes, right? It took, I don't know, let me see what time it is. It is 5.27. So it took 20 minutes for the big ship to come in and the bridge to go back down, which is so cool. That ship is huge, y'all seen it? So anyways, like I said, let's see what else we can find. view of the lake like look how big it is this wild let me just do back a little bit so you can see huh. so i really don't know much about the great lakes so of course i had to go to my good friend google there's five of the great lakes and lake superior is the biggest one and it's 406 meters deep and it's 31,700 miles. And it's the coldest and the biggest of the Great Lakes. That's why this is a whole baby ocean. It's guys. But this is why, you know, I'm bringing y'all along on this trip because who knew? Well, maybe some of y'all, but I didn't. And that means it's people out there who don't know nothing about Lake Superior. So, at Duluth, to your bucket list so you can bring your friends and your family the kids and bring them to the loop guys because it's very nice to in these houses on the lake honey i'm thinking about you know me and Vincent need to get one of these houses they're so beautiful so yes it's been a nice trip so far thanks babe for bringing me i don't know i didn't know anything about the loop minnesota it's a cool town So the sun is real bright. You see, they lift it up and fix the boat. That's what we're thinking it is, right, babe? Yeah, I know like uh, Yeah, we seen a sign for wild rice on the side of the street. Now, this is sending me in the store to ask for the rice. Let me just look for it real quick. 
we done seen like five times about wild rice, so clearly it must be popular. Let's ask this clerk. Hi, excuse me. Um, we seen a sign out there for wild rice. Is it sold in here or? Yep. Uh, oh. So we have a bunch right there. And oh. We have some in the back. Okay. Let me tell my husband. Thank you. Bring your money because I didn't bring mine. Y'all see how Vessie be doing me? This yeah, it's this right here. Look at the rice, y'all. This is the wild rice that they yeah, were talking pipes. about. This one. It's a different one. Broken soup rice, long grain farm, farm grown, and then this is the wild rice. Okay. So it's cooked over fire? Yeah. Okay. What is it even So mean? it's ready to, it's, it takes a sort of time. So oh, yeah, oh, this one. That's why it's uh, more of a brown. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Yeah, this is like the premium, so it goes with everything. Yeah. Oh, I don't know nothing about rice. Me neither, they just, the people will give us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> give you the deets, right? How do you make good soup though? Because Vincent, you do be sending me to the store to look for wild rice. Yeah. If it ain't Uncle Ben's in the bag, then I don't even yeah. know about it. This, yeah, this, this, at the store, it gets more expensive. Mm. Please have a good night. Yeah. Thanks, Derek. All right, yeah, well, we got our wild, wild rice. I love my man, y'all, because he be teaching me all kinds of stuff. Because who knew about wild rice? Y'all be eating wild rice? Let me know in the comments, because if it ain't Uncle Ben's, or that instant um, boil in the pot, or boil in the bag rice, I don't know nothing about it. Alright, y'all, so oh, we got our, we stopped in two harbors, by the way. Uh, so we got our right about to head back and chill at the Airbnb. So, oh, and I still owe y'all a tour. Don't worry, I didn't forget. See y'all at the house. Okay, so some people asked me like, what Vincent and I, <laughs> what Vincent and I do like on the road and stuff. You know, the past the time because we'd be on the road. Like, I think our average trip is like. 15 plus hours every time we like travel to different contracts and stuff um so we um listen to podcasts we do trivia i'm the trivia person i don't really know a lot of information so i'm the one asking the questions and i always just quiz busy because half the time he's always um driving um and then also i remember like the first time that like, we really like took the road trip together when we were going to vermont we were like exchanging like music that we used to listen to like in high school and stuff so i had the aux cord so to speak and so i was just you know telling vincent like oh i used to love this song and blah 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 and then vincent you know had his turn and then that's when you introduced me to ryan mcknight's son because i didn't know that ryan mcknight's son did music do you remember this yeah and he was i was like okay this music is, this music is kind of nice he was like yeah i knew you would like it yeah so that's kind of like what we do um i before i met vincent road trips for me meant now like it don't matter how long the road trip was i was about to go to sleep so since we've been traveling together i try to be a studious co-pilot so i manage the gps you know i keep them up i watch out for the deer at night and then also like when we get in towards our final destination um i'm the one who kind of like look up the hotels and like all that stuff and book while we're there or you know look up places to eat yada 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 so yeah that's what i do i i like that job because one time y'all let me tell you i let vincent pick out the hotel and baby let me just tell you it was the worst we went inside first of all we already knew it was gonna be a hot mess because the lady was outside in them little motorized scooters 
smoking a cigarette with her grandchild or whatever right there inhaling the smoke and I was like okay I don't know about this place but then the lobby was nice so I was like okay maybe this won't be that bad y'all we crossed over the threshold between the lobby and like the hallway for the rooms the lights started, started flickering I heard like water droppings and stuff like it got real dark like when we crossed over from the lobby to like the hallway it had like a little piece of tape taping up the carpet and I was like this <laughs> I don't know about this one. And then we got to the room. I was like, yeah, no, this is a no for me. And this is the, all he did, this has a very sensitive nose. So he was like, we're not standing here. <laughs> like, y'all, we didn't even put our bags down. I said, you know what? We about to say adios to this $100. I'm not even finna fight this lady about the $100 that we just spent. We left through the back door. Yeah, we didn't even see her. We, I Just booked another home. room so fast. We left like Medea. Medea was <laughs> there. We get to catch the hell out of here. I didn't even sit my bag. Like, we, I held on to the bags. Like, we didn't even sit on the bed. I'm going to see if I can find pictures. But, um, and I don't even know who was in there long enough. And this is, like, before, before I started, like, vlogging. So, we got out of there so fast. And, you know, I was telling Vissy, it reminded me of the time that me and Amber were headed to Barcelona. And we took that voucher that American Airlines was giving out when the book is over, when the flight is booked, like overbooked. And they had us at the Clarion in Miami. Not any of my Florida people down in Miami. No. That the Clarion near Miami International Airport is a no-go. Even then, me and her on the shuttle, like, mm, I don't know about this. Anywho, that's how me and Vincent felt. So, yeah, that's why I like to do that job. Hold on, what's the baby? And one mile, you're going to turn um, right on East Superior Street. So, um. Yeah, so that's pretty much what we what we do in the car, and it really takes um, it makes the time go by like fast. And we also like to listen to podcasts. Vince's favorite podcast is what Vince? The Read. Yep, The Read. I don't know if my followers listen to The Read, but it's very funny that Vince likes that podcast. Shout out to Kid Fury yes, and Crystal. <laughs> He loves that. And even sometimes he say, I can't wait to see what the read is going to say about this one. But anyways, up here. He's going to turn right. Um, 70 feet, so up here. Anyways, I got to go because I got to get directions. So I just wanted to give y'all that little story. Suck, 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 suck.